Hi, my name is Kevin Johnson and welcome to this video where we're going to talk about the license process. How do you go from I want to get my real estate license to actually, you know, having your real estate license. So let's walk through that process. There are four main steps you have to worry about. First, you need to register for a 63 hour pre-license course. Then you need to get your fingerprint scan and complete your background check. Next, you're going to complete the state license application. And last but not least, sit for the state exam, passing that test to start practicing real estate license activity. So let's dive into those steps just a little bit further. Now, the first step is registering for the pre-license course. This can be done at any Florida permitted real estate school that the Florida Real Estate uh, Commission has approved. After that, it's a 60 hour instruction followed by a three hour period for your end of course exam, which is a 100 question exam, multiple choice. Uh, you can miss 30, so you need 70 to pass the test. So pretty straightforward there. Now this can be completed in a classroom setting or online, either live stream or on demand. So either option are available for you. Now, when choosing a real estate school, a couple things that you probably want to consider. What are the school and instructor's credentials? Fun fact for you, uh, in order to get an instructor's license and actually teach the course, you don't have to have ever sold real estate in your life. You don't even have to have a real estate license. You just have to pass a 100 question instructor's test and then you're on your way. So what are those credentials? Um, are the instructors at the school people who are current active practicing brokers so they're actually out there in the field every day when they're not teaching you know processing transactions to be you know be kept up to date on the latest and what's going on in the market or are they someone who at one point in their career taught or uh, sold real estate but now they're just teaching or have they ever sold real estate believe it or not there's a lot of instructors that haven't sold real estate and that's okay but for me i'd prefer to learn from someone who has done what they've done here at One Blue Real Estate School, all of our instructors are practicing real estate brokers and are engaged each and every day in helping real estate transactions go from beginning to end. Helping buyers and sellers, coaching and mentoring agents each and every day. Now, the next step is, are the classes small or are they large? You know, statistically around 18 to 20 students is about the max that any instructor can handle and still provide a quality education experience. Anything above that, you get to 30, 40, 50, 60, some schools over 100 students in the classroom. It is simply physically impossible for any instructor, no matter how good they are, to deliver an excellent experience for that learner. It's impossible to answer questions. It's impossible to be able to gauge each and every student to make sure that they're understanding the content. And the next thing to, talk, to think about is, do they teach you the why behind what they're asking you to learn? You know, there's a real estate school uh, that I've heard of that says that 95% of what you learn in class, you're never gonna use, so don't worry about it. That's scary that a real estate school would be so so careless to say something like that. I have done hundreds of transactions as a real estate broker. I'm an award-winning producer, award-winning quality service producing agent. And you know what? I'll tell you this right now. If you're not using what you learn in this class each and every day, chances are you're probably breaking the law, probably committing misdemeanors, and you won't be in the business very long. So make sure you go to a school that teaches you the why behind the content. So when you get out of school and you get your license and you're representing buyers and sellers in the largest financial transaction of their lives, you actually understand why you have to do what you do. The last thing we'll talk about is what else is included with the tuition. Here at One Blue Real Estate School, we include your course book, study aids, practices, crossword puzzles, lots of resources so no matter what you like or don't like there's something in it for everyone to help you grow and learn the material now the next step is you need to get your fingerprint scan for your background check now here at one blue real estate school if you take our in-person class we do have a vendor that comes in and will scan your fingerprints for you they're approved by the dbpr in order to do that 
Um, and the best part is we don't mark it up. We don't ask him to mark it up. So no kickbacks to the school whatsoever. We want to make sure that you are getting the best price possible. Some schools bring vendors in and mark that up so that they can make a profit. We don't. Or there's a kickback from the finger, fingerprint vendor and we don't get that. I just don't believe in stuff like that. But we'll dive into the fingerprint, the background check, and what's required here in just a second. Now, the next step is to apply for your license. You're going to go to myfloridalicense.com to submit the real estate application. It's form RE-1. You actually can go to our website. We actually have some links there for you to help you go right to the correct form that you need. And then they're going to ask you some pre-intake questions, yes or no. And if you answer yes to any of those questions, chances are they're going to ask for some supporting documentation. So just keep that in mind. If there's anything in your background, they're going to want to see all the supporting documentation for that. So in order to apply, we have some minimum criteria. You must be 18 years of age or older and have a high school diploma or its equivalent. Now, you also have to be honest and of good character. To determine that, they look at your background check. You also have to be competent and qualified, and that's going to be the state license exam. If you pass that, the state of Florida deems you minimally competent to practice real estate, then it's off to your broker to help you grow and, and further your education as you continue onward. And the last thing is you have to have a valid U.S. Social Security number. Why? Because we're looking to see if you have any past due child support. You need to make sure if you are court ordered child support that you keep that current at all times while you hold your license. Now that background check, what are they looking for? Anything on your background that meets the following, you're going to need to disclose and provide the documentation. If you've ever had a previous real estate license denied, you're going to need to disclose that and provide supporting documentation. If you've ever been found guilty or convicted of a crime, also going to need to supply documentation. If you've ever, ever pled guilty or no contest to or called no low contendere, you're going to need to also disclose. You will need to disclose even if court action or adjudication was withheld. If you've had a prior charge expunged, it is your responsibility to make sure that the proper authorities have expunged that from your record. So it might be worth running your background yourself with that state where the charge is to make sure the charge is gone before submitting your application and not disclosing it. That could cost you to lose your license. Now, civil matters like bankruptcies, don't worry about it. They're not interested in that. They just want to make sure uh, about your background, your criminal background side of this. Now, a couple things to keep in mind with the time limits, your license application expires two years after it is received by the DBPR. So once you complete that license application, just keep that in mind, two years you have to pass the state exam. And also once you complete the end of the 63 hour pre-license course, you have two years from that date as well. When you graduate from our school and you pass your exam, we're going to give you a certificate that you're going to take down to the testing center. And on that, we'll have the expiration date so you don't have to worry about when it expires. Now, the last step, you've gone through the 63-hour pre-license course. You've passed that. You've gone through the state background check. And now the state has says you're exam eligible, so you're free to sit for the state exam. You're going to schedule that test with Pearson View, which is the state approved vendor. Uh, you're going to bring two forms of ID with you. They want to make sure you're who you say you are, as well as the pass certificate that you get from One Blue Real Estate School. Now, we talked about earlier the class exam was a 100 question test with a 70 to pass. The state exam is going to ask for 75% to pass. So in that test, we're going to give you three and a half hours to pass the state exam versus you only get three hours for the, uh, the class exam at the school. So a little bit more time because we're expecting a little bit more. Now, one thing to keep in mind, you may get more than 100 questions, 102, 103, couple more. They're constantly testing new test questions. You don't know which ones they are within the test. They don't count for you if you get them right, but they also don't count against you if you get them wrong. So just keep in mind, if you get to 100, you think you're done, hit next, and there's question 101, that's why. 
Now, another note is you can take the test in English or Spanish. So if Spanish is your first language, definitely recommend go ahead and taking it in Spanish. Um, if you're, you're okay with um, English but Spanish is still preferred, you can always toggle back and forth. Now, I want to address a myth here. Some real estate schools try to perpetrate this urban myth that if you ask for the test in Spanish and then hit the translate button back to English, you're going to get a much easier exam. Now, that's patently false. I mean, could you imagine the discrimination lawsuit that the state of Florida would get from English speaking citizens if the Spanish test was easier? Yeah, the state's not stupid, right? So don't be stupid. Don't fall for that. Both tests are equally hard. As long as you study and prepare for it, you're going to be just fine. Just make sure you go to a good school like One Blue Real Estate School where we teach you the why and make sure you understand it and then you'll be ready for the state exam. Now, after you're done with the test, you're going to go back out to the lobby, get the stuff out of your, your stuff out of your locker and you're going to go to the counter. And at the counter there's going to be your your pass or fail notice. Now, if you're a bit competitive like I am, you studied hard, I mean, did you ace the test if you pass or did you just eek by with a pass. Unfortunately, you won't know. A 75 or a 100, all you're going to know is that you passed. They don't give you the score. Now, if you don't pass, if you <clears throat> fail, uh, which hopefully you won't, uh, they're going to let you know by the 19 units of, of the book how many questions from each chapter you miss. So that way you can go back and study and drill down just on those chapters and then go back and try again. Now, good time to plug, our online exam prep course features over 200 videos where we've taken the entire course and broken everything down by chapter. So each of those units that they list out on the fail notice. And then in, within those units, we've broken everything down to three to five minute short videos. So you can go just drill down on the content that you're struggling with. Now. You also are, already talked about that, but again, you get to see how many questions you missed in each one. So that, my friends, the four steps to go from I want to get my license to I have my license. Once you pass that state exam, you go meet with the broker. The broker will activate your license and you're off to becoming a very successful real estate agent here in Central Florida or wherever in Florida you are watching from. If you have any questions, please give us a call, 321-333-5222. Our team will be happy to walk you through the entire process, answer any questions you have, and point you to the right direction for any resources you need. And of course, you can always visit our website, onebluerealestateschool.com. There we have frequently asked questions, we have some free study resources, you can register for any of our courses, and much, much more. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.